Hi, grade five, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, please, I'd like yes. for you to all keep your cameras off as they slow down the connection. Please keep your camera off unless I ask you um, to turn it on. Let's just wait two more minutes because I'm adding um, the students as they join. Please, as you join, turn off your camera. We're up to 25. It's almost there, we'll wait maybe two minutes. Hi, Yasin. Yasin, please keep your camera off. Do not turn on your camera unless I ask you to as it slows the connection. Hello. One more minute, and we'll start. Hello. Okay, I have you all muted until we start the session. It seems people keep losing connection. Okay, um, let's go ahead and start. All right, I'm sharing my screen. Okay, hey, are you guys, uh, can you guys see my screen now? Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. If you check uh, Smart Schools, you will find a weekly plan um, yeah. that I posted yesterday. This weekly plan is how you will see what we will be doing throughout the week. Mm. If we have homework, it will be posted in this plan. Um, and it's how I will communicate with you um, in the weekly plan and uh, in these meetings, all right? So I wrote that this week we are only doing grammar. We are going to get a new reading program that will be online. Um, so once uh, it is ready for us to use, you will receive your uh, login information, but uh, it's not ready yet, so until Excuse me. Don't talk to each other during the session. So uh, until uh, we receive our, this information, we will be doing grammar. All right, now today's lesson is um, something I'm sure you all already know, so it's going to be review for you. Today we're going to do a simple lesson called uh, sentences and sentence fragments. Okay, can somebody tell me what is uh, the difference between a sentence and a sentence fragment? Can you raise your hand on the screen? Okay, I have Yusuf raising his hand. Hi, oh, Yusuf. Yeah. Hi. Okay, so what is the difference between a sentence and a sentence fragment? Yeah, the sentence fragment is not a completed sentence. Excellent, it's incomplete. It's either missing? M missing, yeah. A subject or a verb, right? Yeah. In order for a sentence to be complete, it must have these two uh, important things, a subject and a verb. Okay? So a fragment would be an incomplete sentence, correct? Ms. Hanan. Yes. Okay. Ms. Hanan. Uh, yes. I cannot see your screen. You can't see my screen? Can, any, can everybody else see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it says unit one sentences. 
I can move see. on yet. I'm only on the title screen. Can you see it? No. Okay, how about maybe you can uh, exit and join again and I will add you back to the call. Okay. Okay, maybe you have a problem with connection. All right. Um, so who wants to read? Uh, please raise your hand on the screen. I have here Amr. Does Amr is raising his hand? Amr, would you like to read for us? Yes, miss. Okay. A sentence is a group of words that express a complete thought. Excellent. A sentence Excellent. is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. All right. Every, sen every sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, so a sentence expresses a complete thought and uh, begins with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. Here is an example. Kelsey and Jamie listened to the thunder. Here our subject is Kelsey and Jamie. So who, right? Who is listening to, the, who listened to the thunder? All right, our verb here is listened. If our sentence was Kelsey and Jamie listened, that's enough. We have our subject and we have our verb and we have the two things that we need in order for the, the sentence to be complete, okay? So here's an example of a complete sentence. Thank you, Amr. Okay, uh, Aisa, would you like to read? You're raising your hand? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, dear. A sentence fragment is a group of words that is only part of a sentence. It doesn't express a complete thought. Thank you very much. All right, so only part of a sentence. It is incomplete. Here's an example. Listened to the thunder. It's incomplete because we need to know who is listening to who listened uh, to the thunder. Okay. Thank you, Isa. All right, um, who wants to read next, Mamdouh? No. <clears throat> uh, when you write a sentence, be sure it, it expresses a complete thought and can stand alone. You can correct a sentence fragment by adding words or phrases to, for, to form a complete sentence. Excellent, thank you very much, Mamdouh. Okay, yeah. so here is uh, a table to uh, show you what this means. Here we can turn a fragment into a sentence by adding the missing part. So here, the rain is a fragment. Is this missing a predicate or missing a subject? What is this missing? Um, Shlok, can you tell me? Yes, miss. What is it missing here? It's missing the verb. It's missing a verb, excellent. So here, uh, to make it a complete sentence, we added was unexpected, the rain was unexpected. Very good. All right, and the second one, canceled the class trip. What is this missing so? Uh, a subject. It's missing a subject. Who canceled the class trip? So here when we add our teacher, it becomes complete. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna do some exercises together. Um, if you would like to uh, answer, please raise your hand on the screen. Okay, we're going to tell, you're just going to read the sentence and tell me if it's a sentence or a sentence fragment. Okay, number one, grandmother came to visit. Is this a sentence or a fragment? Abdurrahman Ittanahi. Uh, sen sentence. Sentence. Excellent. Sorry, guys, my screen is frozen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and post all of the uh, questions. Okay, so number one, very good, is a sentence. Thank you. And number two, are they? Hello, Miss. Hi. Uh, wrote an odd 
family album. Uh, uh, sentence uh, fragment. Sentence fragment, very good. What is it missing? Uh, she. All right, so it's missing a subject, right? She, yes, he, like she, he. Right, all day, Miss Hanen. All right, so we must add. Um, we must add a subject for it to be complete. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay, Hannah Halewa, can you answer number three? Yeah. Go ahead, dear. The two girls. Okay. Sentence fragment. Sentence fragment. What can we add to this to make it a sentence? A verb. Okay. Can you complete the sentence for me? The two girls went to a party. Excellent. Thank you so much, Hannah. Okay, number four. Kinsey Hossam. I unmuted you. Can you, is it working? Okay. Hi. Hi, dear. Grandmother explained each picture. We're on number five. Okay, the girls enjoyed looking at the old photographs. Oh no, sorry, we are on number four? Yeah. Yeah, sorry dear, go ahead, I'm sorry. Grandmother explained each picture. Sentence. I'm sorry, the, the screen froze and it put the uh, answer and that's why I thought we were on number five. All right, it's a sentence. Thank you very much. We can see that we have, what is our subject here in our verb? Okay, it says here Kenzie is muted. So our subject here is grandmother, our verb is explained, and um, like that we have the two components for a complete sentence. Okay, number five, Malak. Hi. Hi, dear. The girls enjoyed looking at the old photographs. Sentence. Sentence, very good. Okay, thank you so much, Mother. All right, moving on. Okay, uh, number one, Habiba. Yes. Told stories about their father. Sentence or sentence, sentence. fragment? Sentence. It's a sentence? No, sentence fragment. Okay, what is it missing? Like someone told stories about their father. Okay, excellent. So it's missing a subject. We need to know who yeah. told stories about their father, right? Very good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Esir, you want to do number two? Can you hear me, Esir? All day, please keep your camera off because yes. it slows down the connection. Yes, Esir. I'm not Esir, you unmuted me, I'm Musa. Oh, I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong name. Sorry, dear, Esir. Okay. Can you answer number two? Okay. Dad's hair was black and curly. All right. Uh, sentence. Sentence. Very good. We have our subject and we have our predicate. Very good. Number three, Zain. Baby, pictures of Kelsey and Jamie. All right. Is this a sentence or a fragment? A sentence. Do we have both a subject and a verb? Where is our verb? Oh, uh, yeah. Baby pictures of kids. 
No, sentence fragment. It's a fragment. All right, because we are missing our predict or a verb. Very good. All right. So, in order to make it a complete sentence, what could we add? Baby pictures of Kelsey and Jamie. <clears throat> We're in the drawer, for example, okay? We're on the table. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, next, Omar Khaled. One picture showed grandma playing games with the girls. Okay. Is this a sentence or? Fragments. Sentence. Sentence. Very good. We have our subject and we have a verb. Uh, Mustafa, can you do number five? Mimi took me pictures of us. Okay. Yes. Is this sentence? Very good. We have both the subject and a verb. All right. Okay, uh, now we're going to add words to each fragment. So uh, since these are fragments, they are all missing uh, important parts. I want you to read, for example, number one, read it. Tell me if it is missing a predicate or a subject, and then uh, give me an example of words that we could add to make it a complete uh, sentence, okay? Uh, Amga, do you wanna do number one? Uh, can you hear me, Amgad? I unmuted you. Hello? Uh, now, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, number one. Mm. Hannah found her camera. Hannah found her camera, excellent. So it's missing? Uh, subject. A subject. Very good. Thank you. All right. Number two, Yasin. Uh, Duini. Grandma and Kelsey. All right. First, what is it missing? Uh, it's missing the. What they do. All right, so it needs a verb, right? As long as we have a verb, we have a complete they, sentence. They what? Um, Grandma, Grandma and Kelsey cooked uh, cookies. Excellent, okay, so they baked cookies. Yes. All right, Grandma and Kelsey baked cookies. Very good. Did you know that as long as we have a verb, it's complete? So even if you were to write Grandma and Kelsey cooked, that's it, we have a complete sentence, okay? So as long as we have a subject and a verb. All right, thank you so much, Yasin. Do you like to bake cookies? I don't know where Yasin went. Maybe he doesn't like cookies. Okay. Um, all right, number three. Somebody who has not answered. I have a lot of you are not an, are not raising your hands. Salim, are you there? Yeah. Hi, Salim. Can you answer number three? Both together and silly hats. Mm -hmm. We pose together and silly heads. Excellent. All right. So adding we is adding a subject to the fragment, right? A subject. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Number four. Yasin Sadet, are you there? Yep. 
Hi, Yasin. Can you answer number four? Uh, yep. Each of the two girls. Hmm. Okay. What is it missing first? It's missing the verb. Excellent. Each of the two girls played together and danced together. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much, Yasin. All right, Yasin okay. Hashem, are you there? Yes. Hi, Yasin. Can you answer the last one for us? Okay. She enjoyed the rainy day after all. Thank you. All right, so uh, by adding she, you are adding what to the sentence? Subject. Subject, very good. All right, thank you, Yasin. Yasin, be sure to keep your camera off so that it doesn't slow down um, the meeting. Okay, thank you very much. All right, now I want for you guys to please take out your language arts practice workbook. All right, I'm going to unmute you guys for a second. Do you guys have your language arts practice workbook? We're going to do num you're gonna yes, no. number Page one. one. Okay. Right. I have it. All right, so I have it. I have it. I'll go get it and come. Okay, one minute, guys. We'll get didn't your receive it. This whole I week, we're going to need our language arts practice workbook, okay? If okay, you did not receive it. it yet, all right, guys. I don't have it. Listen, let me, let me. If you guys did not receive it yet, please take out a uh, pencil and paper and write down the answers. I will um, read the sentences out loud, okay? And write down, um, write down the answers so that when you get your language arts practice workbook, you can fill the correct answers. All right, all day. Please keep your camera off. Thank you for showing me that you have your book. All right. Can you unmute Nurhan and Eser? Unmute Nurhan and Eser. It says that Miss I have Kimchi. everyone unmuted. Miss, I have the book. Miss, I have the book. book. Have the book. All right, I will say again, guys, please listen. Please listen. If you do not have your book, take a pencil and a paper and write down the answers as we go along. I will read the questions out loud for you and the sentences so that you can follow along with us, okay? All right. I have the book. All right, that's great. Okay, we're gonna start. I'm gonna mute you guys. Raise your hand on the screen if you would like to answer. Okay, it is my hand. All right. So I want someone to read, please, the instructions for part A. Uh, Miss Go ahead, all day. Go ahead, all day. Read the instructions. Uh, read the directions for part A. Uh, circle the sentence or sentence fragment for each group of words. Thank you so much. All right. Number one. Go ahead and do number one. Last year, Felicia visited the desert. Okay, last year, Felicia visited the desert. Is this a sentence or a sentence fragment? Sentence. Sentence. All right, so we will circle the sentence. Okay, again, those who do not have their workbook, please write down the answers as we go along on the sheet of paper and copy them into your language arts workbook once you receive it. All right, number two. Mamdouh. Uh, 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 she recalls the things in a journal. Sentence. Okay. Sentence. Very good. Okay, number three. Um. Amr Muhammad. Miss, I don't have the book. Okay, so I'll okay no problem. But it says here that you are raising your hand. So be sure to lower your hand if you do not uh, have the book with you or if you're not ready to answer. Okay, Hannah Halao, are you raising your hand? Hi, yeah. Hannah. Can you answer number three? Hi. Yeah. Hmm. A list of desert plants. Sentence fragment. Sentence fragment. Very good. Thank you, Hannah. 
All right, number four. Mohanna, are you there? No, I don't have the book. You don't have the book, okay. Uh, Nurhan, mm -hmm. do you have your book? I don't have the book. don't have the book either. All right. I'm trying to call on people who have not answered. Uh, all right, go ahead, Shlok, number four. Okay, miss. Uh, for many kids of practice, sentence. Sentence, thank you. All right, number five, Aysel. Nika like one called the prickly pear. Sentence. Sentence, very good. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, Mustafa. Mustafa, you're unmuted. Beautiful blooms on some of the cactuses. Beautiful blooms on some of the cactuses. All right, is this a sentence or a sentence fragment? Sentence fragment. Sentence fragment, very good. We need um, a verb. Right, number six, sentence fragment. Very good, thank you, Mustafa. Omar Khalid. Yes. Uh, no leaves on most of the cactus. Very good. What is this, sentence or sentence fragment? Mm. Sentence? Where is our verb in the sentence? Sentence fragment. It's a fragment, all right? We are missing a verb, okay? Miss, Thank I you. don't have the page. Okay. Um, it's page one. I said, I said quite a few times now. If you do not um, have your book, please write the uh, answers as we go along. We are reading the sentences together. So if you pay attention, you will be able to uh, catch the uh, sentences and answer along with us, okay? Miss, can, can I say now? I don't know who is speaking. It's not showing for me. One second. Hi, Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman. Oday. Mr. Oday. Oday, wait for me to call on you. I'm going to mute you all again. until I call on you, okay? Because it's disruptive with many talking at the same time. Amgad, can you answer number seven? Uh, I don't have the book. Don't have the book, I'm sorry. I think I asked you already. Sorry, Abdurrahman, Ahmed? Hello? We Hi, we already answered uh, number seven. Sorry, it didn't update. Okay, number eight. It's my subject. It's missing a subject. Very good. Number eight, wrote down the desert animals. It is missing a subject. So we could add a name um, to make it a complete sentence. So this is a fragment. Thank you. Okay, number nine. All day. Um, draw sketches of some of the animals. Okay. Uh, sentence. Sentence. Do we have a subject here? Where is our subject? Who drew sketches? No, we don't have a subject. We are missing a subject. Okay. So if it. This is. Sentence uh, fragment. Sentence fragment, very good, because we are missing the subject. All right. Reem, are you there? Uh, 
Yes, but I don't have the book. Okay, we no problem. I'm trying to call on those who haven't answered. Somebody has their name as hi. Who is that? Me. I don't know who me is or hi. Who are you? Norhan. Hi, Norhan. Okay. Uh, you had your name as Norhan. Please do not edit it. Okay. I said yesterday during the meeting, you must have your name. If there are more than one um, of you in the class, uh, you must write your last name so that I know who you are. Okay. So name yourself on Zoom as I would address you in the classroom. Okay. To make it easier for, to make it easier for both of us. Okay. Um, Norhan, do you have the book? I don't remember if you told me you had the book. I don't think you had it. Okay, let's move on to um, Hannah, Hannah Sultan. Would you like to answer? Number 10. I'm unmuting you, dear. Can you? Is it working? Okay, I'm not sure if there's a problem with my connection or yours. Reem, please do not turn on the camera. It freezes the video. All right, Habiba, do you want to go again? Can you answer number 10 for us? Yeah. Okay, dear, go ahead. Her journal. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Her journal helps her remember the trip. Sentence. Sentence. Very good. Okay. So number ten is a sentence. All right. Let's move on to part B. Okay. Amr Muhammad, can you read the directions for me? Read the instructions for the exercise. Trying to unmute you. Yes, miss. Okay, dear, go ahead. Read, please, the uh, instructions for part B. Where? Just where it is. On page one of the language arts practice book. Do you have your book with you? No. All right, no problem. Um, Esther, do you have your book? Sorry, guys, it's kind of hard for me to. All right. Okay, guys, then I'm, I'm only going to call on those who are raising your hand on the screen. I hope all of you know how to click raise hand. Okay, because I can't remember who has their book and who doesn't. And please, it's very important that you pick up your workbook because we are going to be using it throughout the week. Yasina Sadet, can you read for me? Okay. Choose words from the box to make each fragment a sentence. Write the words on the line. Okay. Uh, read number 11. Yeah, go ahead. Do number 11. Okay. Felicia was especially interested in the jackrabbits. Excellent. All right. Felicia was especially interested in the jackrabbits. Thank you. Number 12. Um. Hannah Halewa. Our fastest rabbits in America. Jack rabbits are fastest rabbits in America. Very good, thank you. And Mustafa? Their fastest speed is 40 miles per hour. Okay, sorry guys, the screen is freezing. Um, their fat is 40 miles per hour, very good, thank you. Alday, can you do the next one? Number what, Miss? Number 14. 
can be eight inches along uh, Jack Rabbit. Are you paying attention all day? We already we already used Jack Rabbits in um, number twelve. I cannot hear. All right, it's on the screen. We already used Jack Rabbits in number twelve, so we can't use it again. Okay. Um, their um, their ears. Excellent. All right, their ears can be eight inches long. All right, and finally, the last one that is left is by eating cactuses. They get their they get water by eating cactuses. Okay. Yeah, man. Easy enough. All right, guys. Um, do you have any questions about this lesson? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I, I unmuted you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. No. no. All right, so we finished the first lesson. I have to do again at uh, 12. So I'm going to give you um, a short break. All right, uh, please, after the break, we are going to um, start a new lesson. Please be sure to also have your language arts practice work. Okay, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right, bye. Bye. bye.